Hello, and welcome to the Switches and Multiplexers series on basics of analog signal switches offered by Texas Instruments. In this video, we will have a short discussion on simplifying power sequencing with the Powered Off Protection feature. We'll start our discussion by introducing how your system is affected by backpowering and how Powered Off Protection will prevent any potential problems due to backpowering. We'll also introduce how to identify and search for a switch with the Powered Off Protection feature. Let's start with an example of backpowering in this system. During power up, the rail supplying power to subsystem A may power up before the rail supplying power to the switch and the downstream component subsystem B. As subsystem A powers up, it may begin to transmit a signal to the signal path of the switch. The signal from subsystem A causes the switch's internal ESD protection diode to forward bias. The ESD diode conducts current to the VDD supply rail, which has not powered up yet. This can unintentionally backpower subsystem B, which may violate system level power sequencing requirements. Because of the sudden voltage at VDD of the switch, the internal control logic may also be backpowered. This causes the switch to turn on, creating a signal path in the switch from source to drain. The signal path of the switch is turned on and the signal from subsystem A is transmitted through the switch to subsystem B, before subsystem B has been powered up. As a result of backpowering, the switch and subsystem B may be damaged. Switches with powered off protection include proprietary IP, which prevents backpower conditions when there is a voltage present on the signal path pins. With powered off protection, the switch prevents backpowering the supply and the switch remains high Z. Subsystem B remains protected. A TI switch with powered off protection will maintain a high impedance state on the I.O., input output, and digital logic pins when the switch's supply is unpowered. In system cases with power sequencing, hot plug, hot insertion, fault events, and overvoltage events, powered off protection is important. Devices with the powered off protection feature protect their systems by ensuring high impedance during power off and therefore eliminate the need for power sequencing. The powered off protection feature simplifies system design and may potentially reduce bomb count and cost. Now, how do you know if your switch has powered off protection? Let's turn to the data sheet of a switch without powered off protection. The recommended operating conditions will reference the signal path I.O. voltage to the supply voltage VDD. The electrical characteristics will only provide an off leakage current characteristic while the device is powered on. In the data sheet of a switch with powered off protection, the recommended operating conditions will reference a max voltage independent of VDD. The electrical characteristics will provide an off leakage current characteristic in the condition that the device is powered off. These figures are just examples. Check your device's data sheet for exact specifications. Devices with powered off protection may list the powered off protection feature or power off isolation in the features section of the data sheet as well. To find a switch with powered off protection, navigate to the analog switches and multiplexers product tree. Here you can filter the search tool to view all of TI's signal switches with the powered off protection feature. In this video, you learned about switches and multiplexers with powered off protection. To learn more, check out this tech note, eliminate power sequencing with powered off protection signal switches. Thank you for watching. To find more switches and multiplexers, technical resources, and search products, please visit ti.com switches.